Nope, you can't do it like me, ho. So don't do it like me, ho. You still trying to do it like me? Man, that thing was ugly. How do you feel? I think my coffee kicked in. <laughs> Thank God some lettuce in here. <laughs> something fresh. I need something different. I have never been fuller in Cookies my life. Cookies for the rest of the day. Oh my God, I hate, I'm starting to hate food. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have another food challenge in the program. We're going to do the 10,000 calorie challenge, which everybody knows, mm -hmm. but we're adding a little twist. That's right. We're actually going to do this twice. 10,000 calories of unhealthy calorie dense food. And then we're going to try to do it with 10,000 calories of healthy and calorie rich or nutrient rich foods. And the reason I want to do this is because me personally, I am a volume eater. I just like to eat. I'm addicted to the eating part. And so in my head, I'm also kind of addicted to the unhealthy foods. And I want to prove to myself that actually I could eat a lot more if I was using calorie or nutrient dense foods versus calorie dense foods. So it's a little bit of an experiment. We're going to start with the unhealthy day, which Yearn is excited, Very excited for. about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we even get close to 10,000, but we're going to try. For breakfast, we decided to go to Dunkin' Donuts because there you can even get six donuts for breakfast plus the drink plus a breakfast sandwich. We're using my fitness pal to track calories. I've already logged everything that I bought. I have to eat it obviously before I can count the calorie, but I've logged it and I will be at 2,160 calories from my three donuts, my one breakfast sandwich, hash browns, and my coffee. We are counting the drinks because you're consuming them. Yeah. And I know that a lot of challenges are about like eating as much as you can, but I want to show the consumption of 2,000 calories, or 10,000, 2,000. Well, this is the consumption of 2,000 calories in one meal, which is technically your recommended daily limit. So we've hit it on breakfast. Let's okay, eat. then dig in. Yeah. I mean, I don't think most normal people eat three donuts, but I could imagine like most people get like a breakfast sandwich and a drink and then maybe a donut. None of this what we have on the table right now, I would ever consider eating for breakfast. Yearn thinks a donut is a dessert. It's for sure not a breakfast. You tell us. Because I grew up thinking a donut was a breakfast food. Not a healthy one, but like in my head, a donut is a morning thing. I can't eat all that sugar just like to start the day. Like even, even eating this before makes it easier to eat that. But I know. Doesn't mean that I want to. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure they're marketed to us as a breakfast. But so let me know what you think. Like, do you feel like they're breakfast foods? Because he feels like they should be dessert only. It's just, I don't think yes, so. Yes, they should. Okay, I'm calling this. I'm not calling it forever, but I'm just, I need a 10 minute break. <laughs> and I'll have urine record me again when I put it in my mouth, I promise. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it. It's like, I don't even know, 25 minutes later. <laughs> okay, get on my face. <laughs> do it, nope, you can't do it like me, ho. So don't do it like me, ho. You still trying to do it like me? Man, that thing was ugly. How do you feel? I think my coffee kicked in. <laughs> I feel like literally I'm like, next calories, let's go. Like coffee kicked in, donuts are gone. How do we get to the 3,000 mark? Let's go. We have 8,000 calories left. A little less. We're at Grammys and gonna have a Coke. Because <laughs> we have to. 140 more. 140. <laughs> Not technically unhealthy. Oh, perfect. Ooh, that's a fresh olive. Ooh, my family calls these love. They're little chocolate pretzel Burn. bites. I don't know how many calories they are, but we'll find I'll out. Okay, we just pulled into the Burger King parking lot after we left Grandma's. We're not even half hungry. We're not even ready for this lunch. It's been only like three hours since we had breakfast because we got up a little late. I'm yeah. gonna explode. Yeah, and we checked beforehand what has the most calories and Burger King wins against McDonald's and Chick-fil-A, for example. Chick-fil-A sounds against Burger King like diet food. See? <sighs> <laughs> now every time I'm gonna wanna go to Chick-fil-A, you're gonna say, yes, diet food. <laughs> no. I want to reach the 10,000, which is crazy. And to eat that, I have to, or to get that, I have to get a triple Whopper and a milkshake and onion rings instead of rice, <laughs> just by picking the most calorie food. And after that breakfast, I just feel just what you just did. Like, uh, I don't. We're supposed to go have sauerkraut and pork in 
an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Okay, We're I didn't supposed to meet that. at 4 o'clock and it's 2.45 right now. So we need to get in there, get the food in there, and then, I don't know, go to the bathroom so that there's space for the freaking sauerkraut. I didn't write my will yet, but I feel I'm going <laughs> to die today. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> As I was walking behind urine and I smelled the onion rings, I actually said, oh, those smell good. And now I'm like, maybe I do have room for one of them. <laughs> if I can finish everything I just ordered, I will be at 4,002 calories so far for the day. If I can get this down, Yippee he's ahead of me. Let's see, we'll have to put his total up yeah. on the screen because I don't know what it is, but I'm at 4,002. <laughs> When you finish all of From that. the olives. The olives tip me over the 4,000th scale. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm gonna throw up. I can't even do it. I have an entire thing of onion rings still. And I have one bite of burger and I feel like, I can't, I feel like if I put it down, it's coming up. Like, I cannot believe it's only 4,000 calories. Like, I feel like I ate an, a mountain. And I can't, and I'm so, I'm not even gonna make it to 5,000. I don't know how people do this. I cannot do it. <sighs> My last burger bite. I'm just stretching it out. Trying to make room. <laughs> okay, just for the record, what is your final calorie count after lunch now? I think I'm at 4,362 after breakfast and lunch. Okay. With a Coke in the middle. Right, 4,362. So you got 360 more than me somehow. Yeah. Yeah. And still five and a half thousand to go. Ugh. So we just came home from Burger King and had to take a little walk because otherwise it's not bearable. I'm surprised I can even zip up my jacket at this point. I am so stuffed. <laughs> And also, you, you should really pay attention because, like, of course, 10,000 calories is a lot for a body, but also, she's five foot six and I'm six foot seven. My app tells me a daily goal of 2,060 calories, and her app, her app tells her like 1,300. So, for a diet, yeah. Yes, for her, is like way bigger of an amount to eat that, and for my body, it's just like easier to I also wanted to process. say, it is not fair. I'm five foot four and a half, not five foot six. You gave me an inch and a half. Five foot four and a half. He's six foot seven. I also have a uterus and ovaries and stuff that are blocked. Like his torso is so much bigger than mine. And like, and the fact that I'm only 300 calories behind him right now is stupid. Like I need to chill. She could probably go for like 7,000 while I go for 10,000. I need to go too. for 6,000 yeah. top. If I hit 5,000 today, I'm proud of myself because I've lost, I'm losing it. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's walk a little and then see you later we'll again run. for Goodbye. For dinner. So we just got back from Gills, where we had our traditional sauerkraut and pork dinner. Mm -hmm. The whole experience added about a thousand calories to both of us. Yeah. So I didn't look at my exact number. I'm at roughly 5,100 something. We'll write them on the screen. Yeah, I'm at like 5,450 or something like that. Yeah, and I even had like two cookies with milk and like he didn't even yeah. have that. So I just can't, I can't even imagine food, but it's only 6.45 PM. So technically the night is young, but yeah. I've just taken an antacid tablet. I'm getting reflux already. Like I have never been fuller in cookies my life. for the rest of the day. Oh my God. God, I hate, I'm starting to hate food. What you doing? I'm trying to bring up my calorie count, so therefore, reusing the Christmas cookies. Nice. Which have like, I don't know, like 140, 150. Yeah, 150. Calories per piece, so. How many did you have? This is my first one, but oh. let's see how far we're going. Okay. How many cookies did you get down? I had two cookies by now, and I thought I could easily do like three or four just to stack up a little, but just that sugar and all that stuff is just, I feel like a big clump on the bottom of my stomach, like not even like from my feeling, not even where my stomach is, but lower, like intestines, it's just like a, <laughs> like a rock. And I just don't want to eat anymore, but uh, yeah, it's uh, 7 p.m., so 
get the stuff going. I'm so sick. I can't. It's 9 p.m. and I'm literally still so full that I was like, can we please go walk somewhere? Like it's snowing and icy and cold. So the only thing open is Meyer's grocery store. But we came in the home side. Like I can't even look at food right now. We were like straight to the clothing, home goods and candles. <laughs> we're gonna walk around for like an hour, I hope, before we have to go eat more. I can't even imagine. I have to say in Meyer's and on the way to Taco Bell right now where we got like a late night snack at 10, 15, I was confident that I can I can do that. I can eat that more and that's okay. But now I got this whole box. We got a 12 pack of crunchy and soft tacos. Pack. And I just smelled it and was like, Whoa. it's like, no. Yeah. All right, like we said, party pack of tacos. Yuren got a thing of cinnamon twists and also a Baja Blast, which he's never had. No. I couldn't imagine. I'm not even gonna get through these tacos, I think, but. Here we go, we're gonna put on a documentary and see how it goes. It's 10.30 p.m. Yeah. <sighs> Happy late night snack. Send good vibes. I'm literally simply happy about lettuce. Like right now we have tacos with lettuce inside and I just unfolded this thing and there were a couple leaves of lettuces and I was like, thank God some lettuce <laughs> in here. Something fresh. I need something different. There is something disgusting about Taco Bell. This was my first job and I forgot that there is no reason that you should be able to sit here and have six tacos and feel like I could have three more. I could have six more. Like, could you eat more tacos right now? I could, but I don't want to from taste wise. Yes, but that's not the point. It's that there's something wrong that you have to eat 10 Taco Bell tacos to feel full. Like six of them is over a thousand calories and this is my number six, I'm about to eat it and I feel fine about it. And I'm, Taco Bell, I don't even know. Something's wrong, that's weird. So the day is officially over. It's after midnight and we've, we're given up. Yeah, it's, it's done. We never made it to the 10,000, but I made it to 7,200 calories of the day. 6,275 I got. Yeah. And we both feel like shit. So it's definitely not recommendable to do that. It's no. just, you feel so bad. And I'm, since I think 7 p.m., I'm so tired the whole mm -hmm. time. I'm exhausted of the day because I have, I had nothing that gives me actual energy. And, um, and I even got up like at 10.30. It's not like I've been short slept or, or like, early out or yeah. anything. That is one thing I wanted to say is that people do this challenge for 24 hours, which means we didn't wake up, we slept in today. We started this challenge at about 11.30 a.m., which means technically we could include tomorrow's breakfast. We could get up early enough, especially we work tomorrow at 7 a.m. So we could include up until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow, but I literally want to not eat for a week. Like I'm done, yeah. I'm done, I don't care. We've only done this challenge for about 12 hours. 6,000 calories in 12 hours is enough. 7,000 yeah. for him. I, f I feel disgusted. Absolutely over it. And um, yeah, that was our part for unhealthy food. Mm -hmm. 10,000, the try of 10,000 calories mm -hmm. with unhealthy food. And um, well, you're going to see us on the, on the other side. Yeah. With, Whenever we decide to do healthy. Yeah, with a try <laughs> of healthy food for 10,000 calories. See you there. See you there. One eternity later. We're back. Day two, healthy day. That's right, we just went shopping and we got a lot of food, a lot of food. I have no clue the calorie count. We've been adding lots of cheese and things like that, which is on the border of healthy to try to help the calorie count. But let's see, well, we're gonna try to hit the same amount of calories that we hit before. I know we didn't hit 10,000, so maybe I can hit six and he can hit seven. Let's see if that's gonna work out. Let's see. Welcome to breakfast. We're gonna be cooking every meal at home today and we are, like I said, on breakfast. I have hit 1,087 calories, if I can finish this. This is an exorbitant amount of food. I can't even like- Especially for your up. breakfast amount. I've got, yeah, normally I have like one English muffin. So I've got my English muffin with, with some peanut butter and jelly. I have an entire cucumber, an entire banana, a cup of blueberries, and three servings of cottage cheese. Plus we got our Smith's chocolate milk that we loved so much from a couple episodes ago. So um, that's my breakfast. It's way more food than I need. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not a breakfast eater at all, basically, anyway. Yeah, I love lunch, so I'm yeah. excited for lunch. But this is a lot. I'm not even sure I'm going to finish this. For but... me, it's the it's an overnight oats or like 
heated heated oats quick or whatever oats. quick oats um with a whole banana and a little peanut butter and a trail mix with cranberries cashews almonds all that stuff so i'm at 867 calories plus this one so this Which but makes... this one is not only breakfast this one's gonna uh, be spread over the whole day i don't know no, why I'm... he thinks that it's just a chocolate milk i know but i don't <laughs> want to like it. finish it we have other right drinks now. yeah I don't but, know if we're going to hit 10,000, but we're both at 1,000. That's breakfast. Yep. Let's see if we finish it. So I've gotten this far, and I'm very full. How are you doing with your... Almost done. You're going to be fine. Yeah. You eat a similar amount almost every morning. That's my normal breakfast. Yeah. I got this much still. I haven't even cracked that banana. I'm feeling it. But I'm actually like, the fullness that I had from Duncan, I was full and sick feeling. I'm just getting full. Like I'm just, my body's just like, that's good, Kate. Like we're good, but I don't feel bad. I actually feel I also enjoy, energized. I also enjoy the food. I didn't enjoy Duncan necessarily. No, I didn't. It was it greasy was and heavy it. and oh, and I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm like energized. I'm just like, my body's like, Kate, we've had enough for now. Mm -hmm. Like, thank you, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Did it. Hi, it's snack time. While Yuren was editing a video, I went upstairs and I made some buffalo cauliflower dip, which we're gonna dip some vegetables in. So we have some bell pepper, some cucumber. I also have these like avocado cracker crisp things that aren't that unhealthy. Um, obviously we're not gonna be able to eat this whole thing in right one away. sitting or maybe even all day, but if both of us eat one bell pepper, two cucumbers, and a half a bag of those crisps, plus half of this, we'll add about 1,800 calories to our snack quota, which is pretty high. It is a lot of cheese, so it's a higher fatty type of thing, but instead of using tortilla chips, we're using vegetables, which helps with the health factor. Yeah. How's it taste? Really good. Yeah. Really good. It's been like an hour and a half and we've gotten this far. Almost all of our veggies, the first round of veggies are gone. But also I feel full. I literally forget to eat because I feel healthily full. Yeah. Like I don't want to eat. I don't like, I almost forget about the challenge though of the day. Yeah. But cheerio. So we just wanted to give a quick snack update because we actually need to go make lunch. Otherwise we won't finish all of our food today. True. We have not finished our snack. I've gotten exactly halfway done with my section. Urine got about 75% done. So that means my calorie count right now is 1,963, which is <laughs> nothing. And urine? I'm at like 2,250 or something. And when I just realized that this was my breakfast on the unhealthy day, it's like, that is crazy. I It's like almost halfway through the day and I'm full. I don't yeah. wanna eat right now. I don't wanna mm -hmm. consider lunch, but that's it. Yep, but it's lunchtime, so let's go cook. Welcome to official lunchtime with the realization that it's gonna be very hard to make it to the 10,000. Yes. So this volume of food, this is two lettuce wraps. What we made on the stove is worth eight lettuce wraps. So this is two for urine, I have two on my plate. This two lettuce wraps is only 100 calories, but it's this much food and yeah. we're gonna struggle. Like there's no way that I can fit 10 portions of this in order to even get a thousand, you know, yeah. into my yeah. stomach. Absolutely no way. And that's why we're talking about nutrient dense, not calorie dense. So our dinner right now, so far, our portion is 100 calories for you and 100 calories for me. We have these vanilla chai teas that are my favorite. This entire bottle is 320 calories. So technically lunch right now is 420 calories if we finish this, plus we could double it. So maybe 200 worth of lettuce wraps. This is insane. It's so hard with healthy food. They asked us to come to the movies. Say hi. <laughs> Wave. <laughs> they asked us to come to the movies, so of course I have to get a Coke slushie. Okay. But I'm not gonna get a popcorn. That's not on a healthy I'll docket today. Grandma's gonna get a popcorn. I'll probably eat whatever she doesn't finish, but I'll add it to my calorie count. <laughs> Okay. 
Well, that dinner definitely worked out way differently than we anticipated. Yeah, we got a spontaneous invitation from my grandparents to go to the movies, so we can't resist that. And I got a large Coke Icy, as you probably saw, which I also can't resist. And I snacked some popcorn as I sat there, so I have added that to my tracker. And then they wanted to go to Applebee's, so we did. <laughs> we got two kind of healthy meals. We tried mm -hmm. to stay as healthy as possible, one salad and one Asian-style taco Type and dish. we always snuck a little bit from their great combo with like mozzarella sticks and stuff. But a we tracked bit. down everything that we had. Mm -hmm. But we ended up way short of our goal, even way more than on the unhealthy day. Yeah. We ended up with around about 4,000 calories each. Yeah, but we literally were eating all day, nonstop. Like from the time that we went grocery shopping and took you with us was nonstop eating. And... You just can physically not do it. it. The volume of food is just huge. The reason I wanted to do this challenge and the reason I thought of this was I've watched a lot of 10,000 calorie challenges and I first of all thought it would be easy. It wasn't. I was extremely sick that day. But for me, I love eating and my relationship with food is a not the healthiest one. I love eating sad, happy, bored, it doesn't matter. And so I wanted to try this to kind of remind myself that if I do it the healthy way, I can volume eat way more than I can when I go to McDonald's, you know, then I just have to get one meal and I've had a thousand, more than a thousand calories versus having vegetables with a certain dip I like or adding teriyaki sauce to my vegetables. Like those little amounts of calories are way better than doing like the binge that I normally would do with unhealthy stuff. Especially when you consider we are trying to calculate, okay, how much food do we need? And then we are going through the lettuce wraps and one wrap has like 50 calories. And like, how are you supposed to do that? 50 calories, that is like 20, 200 wraps that you have to eat in a day yeah. for 10,000 calories, which is ridiculous. You yeah. are just try, trying so bad to pile up the calories, which simply doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And luckily it doesn't have to work. Yeah. So I hope that you also saw through this that you can eat more if you eat healthier and go with the nutrient dense food versus the calorie dense. For us, we definitely felt way more sick on the days where we had the unhealthy food, like rocks in our stomach, yeah. kind of sick. And I'm full today. 4,000 calories. I am full, but, but I don't also feel energized. sick. Yeah. yeah. I you don't just feel... feel you just feel fresh. You, I know already tomorrow morning I'm going to feel good and I'm going to have my breakfast again. And the other time I was just like, I don't want to do anything tomorrow because it's just making you feel sick. I hope that you also saw that. And if you are a volume eater like me, go for the fruits and veggies because you can volume eat them way more. Yeah. And um, yeah, otherwise... Hopefully you enjoyed our session here and like subscribe share it with your friends and we see you and you see us in the next one right. see you there bye, bye.